بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم زالار خان ہیر and today we see the next part of the logic gates those are the universal gates alright universal gates and as we've seen in the introductory video we have what we have two gates those are treated as the universal gates and why are they called universal gates so you'll see them very soon inshallah okay we can implement any logic gate the basic logic gate with the help of these universal gates all right so the first one of these universal gates is the NAND gate is the NAND gate all right now what does this NAND gate do so this you could say is a combination of an AND gate and a NOT gate all right this is basically an AND plus a NOT all right and how is that first let me draw the, the, the symbol for the NAND gate so the symbol is like this you have this this is similar to the the, the, the what the AND gate let's say we have two inputs A and B the output is here but we have a bubble over here this bubble represents the complement the final output is Y the NAND gate does what it takes the end of the inputs A and it would be and then gives you the complemented output it takes the it takes the end of, end of the inputs and gives you the complement of the output all right so that is what I was saying this is the combination of an AND and NOT gate so we could draw it like this okay you have uh, an AND gate in this way these are the inputs A and B you feed the output to the NOT gate to get an output Y is equal to a added with a B whole complement. As over here you have what? You have an A added with B. And the NOT gate what? It does what? It complements it. I believe it's fine till here. Now, if you apply De Morgan's law over here, over here, if you apply the De Morgan's law, so you could write, uh, I'm writing it over here, you could write it as Y is equal to a complement or with B complement. So another representation for this NAND gate could be what? It could be like this. You take the complement of A. You take the complement of B. And you feed it to an OR gate. And this Y you have over here as the output. And this thing can simply be drawn, <coughs> sorry, in this way. All right, you have an OR gate. Fine. Uh, you have inputs A and B. So you, you are giving it the complement. So you represent it by a bubble over here. This bubble represents the complement state or the low state. And finally, over here, you have the Y that is A, uh, A complement or with a B complement. Is that fine? All right. Now, due to this property, due to this property, this NAND gate is also called a bubbled OR gate. This is also called a bubble OR gate, all right? Now, to the truth table of it, all right? So, we discuss it for two inputs, A, B, and the output is A, and it will be whole complement, all right? So, you know the input combinations are 0, 0. 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Now you know the AND gate, you know the NOT gate, you combine it, fine? So 0, AND it with a 0 is a 0, and then its complement would be 1. 0, AND it with 1 is 0, its complement is 1. 1, AND it with 0 is 1, its complement, uh, sorry, 1, AND it with 0 is again a 0, and its complement is again a 1. And finally, 1 ANDED with 1 is a 1, and its complement is a 0, which makes 1 ANDED with 1 a 0. Is that fine till here? Alright. Now, you, we, we discuss the, 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 the uh, important properties in every, uh, in every gate. So, over here, we discuss it as well. We have A ANDED with A. What is this? A ANDED with A complement. What's this? A NANDED with 1 and A NANDED with 0. A could be either 1 or a 0. So we are generalizing things in this way, alright? <clears throat> now the first, A NANDED with A. 
So 0 with a 0 is a 1, 1 with a 1 is a 0, which means that A ended with A results in an A complement. Fine. Now, A with A complement. So 0 with 1 is a 1, 1 with 0 is a 1, which means in both the cases it's a 1, so A ended with A complement is a 1. All right? Now, uh, uh, sorry, here. A uh, ended with a 1, all right? So 0 with 1 is a 1. 1 with 1 is a 0. So I believe it's again an A complement. If A is 0, so the output is 1. If A is 1, the output is 0. So again, it's an A complement over here. And finally, A ended with 0. So if A is 0, the output is 1. If A is 1, the output is 1. So you have A ended with 0 is a 1 again. All right, is that clear? <clears throat> okay, so now we discuss the two important properties that we discussed in the previous videos as well. The commutative law. Does it hold the commutative law or not? And what is the commutative law? It's that A ended with B is equal to B ended with A. So, so is it satisfying this law? So let's say we give it input. Let's say, let's say A is 0, B is 1. So you have a 0 ended with 1, 1 ended with 0. Or you can do it stepwise. So 0 uh, ended with a 1, ended with a 1 is a 0 and it's complement. And 1 ended with a 0 is again a 0 and it's complement which makes 1 equal to 1. So the commutative law is what? It is satisfied. Associative law. Associative. All right. Now, what is the associative law? It's like this: B ended with C first, and then you have the whole NAND operation. And similarly, in this uh, the right side, you have A ended with B first, and then whole NAND with a C. Fine. So over here also, let me take some inputs. Let's say we have A is equal to one, B is equal to one, and let's say C is equal to zero. Fine. Now you put it in this equation, all right? So you have a 1 into 1 into 0, fine, complement, and then a whole complement. And then you have over here 1 ended with 1 into 0, and then you have the whole complement. All right, so I think my speed is a little faster in this video. And this is because I have, uh, I already had made this video before, but uh, we had a little problem in that, and I didn't have time for editing that much. So I just decided to, to, to make it again, all right, to make it easier for me. So that is why I'm having a little speed over here, okay, so I'm sorry for that. I will try to a little slower down now, okay. So now one uh, over here, one ended with zero is what? It's a one, all right, and this one was the previous, and then you have the whole NAND operation. And similarly to the right side, you have a one ended with one is a zero from the bracket and this zero comes here again in the whole complement. Now one ended with a one is a zero and zero ended with a zero is a one so now uh, the associative law is not satisfied. This is not equal so the associative law is not satisfied. Now is that fine? All right. Now we have what? We have the next uh, universal gate, that is the, 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 the NOR gate, all right? So let me make changes over here, okay? Or should I do it again? So I do it again, all right? So it's for your simplicity. So I would remove this, and I would also remove this, all right? Now you would understand this stepwise, okay? So you don't have to confuse it. All right, so more I, I remove all of oh, this one, not supposed to be removed, but okay. So we remove this as well. Let the red headings be there. Fine. Okay. So now the, 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 the second, that is what? The NOR gate. 
this is the second universal gate fine now what is this NOR gate so this basically is a combination of an OR gate and a NOR gate OR plus a NOR all right and how is that so let me draw the symbol for it so you have it like this now till here this is the symbol of what OR gate fine and now we have a bubble over here and this bubble represents the complement and at the final output we have an A or with B whole complement so this OR and this NOT so this is a combination of this OR and NOT now what basically is this so this this is basically like this you have an OR gate fine you have the two inputs A and B the output is taken and it's again given to a NOT gate alright so you have an output that is why over here now if you see so you can apply the De Morgan's law over here and you can see that this Y could be equal to A complement and it with a B complement alright so I can uh, draw it like what I can take this A take this B give them to an odd gate alright take give them to an odd gate and give them to an AND gate so over here we have y is equal to what? A complement and it with a B complement. And this in short, this not get could be replaced by a bubble, which means if I have A, I have B. So you have it like this. Now this bubble represents what? This I'm sorry for that. This bubble represents the the NOT gate alright so this is for this this green color so from this property from this property this NOR gate is also called a bubbled AND gate as the NAND gate was also called the bubble OR due to this property now due to this property this gate the NOR gate is called the bubble AND gate now the truth table alright so let's say we have the two inputs A B and Y is equal to what it's A OR with B and then the whole complement so the input combination 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Now 0 or with a 0 is a 0 and its complement is 1. Fine. 0 or with a 1 is a 1 and its complement is a 0. 1 or with 0 is a 1 and its complement is a 0. 1 or with 1 is a, is a 1 and its complement is a 0. So this is the truth table. Now the, again the properties. So we have it like this. A and it, uh, sorry a or with a whole complement a or with a complements whole complement a or with one whole complement a or with zero whole complement where this a could be either a one or a zero all right so now you have what have a look a or with a and then a whole complement which means a NOT with A is what? Alright, so 0 with 0 is a 1, 1 with 1 is a 0, so which makes this a complement. A complement, this gives you the complement, alright. Now A OR with A complement, so 0 OR with 1 is a 0, and 1 OR with 0 is a 0. So A OR with its complement gives you a 0. With 1, if you have a 0 OR with 1, it gives you a 0. If you have a 1 OR with 1, it gives you a 0. So no matter what the value of A is, if it's NOT with 1, the value is 0. Now A odd with 0. So 0 odd with 0 gives you a 1. 1 odd with, uh, sorry, A odd with a 0. So 0 odd with 1 gives you a 0. NOT with 0 gives you a 1. And 1 NOT with 0 gives you a 0, which means it gives you, it's your, comp it gives its complement. So over here we have a complement. I hope we are clear till here. Now the commutative law in this case would be what? A exclusive or uh, sorry A NOT with B is it equal to B NOT with A? So we check again through some examples that A is 1 and B is 0. You can also do it generally, okay, but that will take a little time, so we just do it simply by, by, by this, okay, or you can expand this formula and 
you can do it mathematically. But we do it through an example to make things simpler. So one node with zero, zero node with one. So you can go stepwise. One odd with a zero is a one. It's complement. Zero odd with a one is a one. It's complement. So this would be zero. This would be zero, which means that this is satisfied. Commutative law is satisfied by the by the NOR gate also. Now for the associative law, you replace this sign by the OR sign. All right. So this is the associative law for the NOR gate. I hope I'm clear. Now again, let's say we have A is equal to 1, let B is equal to 1, C is equal to, let's say, uh, 0. Fine. The same that we took previously. So you put the values over here, 1 or with 1 or 0 complement and then the whole complement. And this is equal to what? Uh, 1 or with 1 whole complement or with a 0 and then a whole complement. Fine. Now one odd with zero whole comp first this this one comes down here this or operation comes here as well and now one odd with zero so this gives you a zero all right and you have a whole complement now to the right hand side one odd with one gives you a zero and this zero comes down here like this and you have a whole complement now one odd with zero one node with zero is a zero we have this nor operation all right this is zero and 0 nor with 0, this is a 1. So 0 is not equal to 1, and which means that the associative law is not satisfied, does not satisfy the nor gate. The nor gate does not satisfy the associative law as we see in we saw in the NAND gate. So that's all. I told you in the beginning, I'm sorry for the speed, I went a little faster in this video, alright, so that's all for today, see you in the next lecture, where we see the arithmetic guides, alright, so till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you, goodbye.